when it comes to understanding the world of men, there is no better place to be than here on the Bro Code. My name is Adewale Olashupo, and you're welcome to another episode of your favorite show on Ecstasy TV. Of course, I'm not doing this alone. I'm joined today by wonderful people. I'm going to start from my immediate left. I'm happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, run away friend. <laughs> A very regular person on the show that decided to run away for a very long time. How are you? I'm it's good years. to have you back. How was your trip to the U.S.? Which? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nice to be on the show again. Yeah, thank you for it's having really me. It's really nice to be on the show. Thank you for but having me. Before we move into the conversation today, today we're talking about office romance. But before we move into that conversation, mm -hmm. there's something that's been going up on the internet, and I'm sure you both are familiar with it. Very dark mm -hmm. man and mm -hmm. Nigerian women. <laughs> so who are you? <laughs> Who are you supporting right now? Very dark man, no. Very dark man. Behind yes, bars, but yes, you're still supporting him. He says the truth. He says the truth. Just because he says yeah. the truth. Yes, now he always speaks. He always speaks intelligently all the time. Hmm. I feel like that's something we need more of in this country. Wow. Yes. Oh, well, I, what I, are I, you I, saying? <laughs> but I think a lot of women have been coming for him. Your gender. Yes, now. Oh, yeah. But which is my gender. <laughs> <laughs> Even men are coming for him. Please, yeah, please. No. You know, sometimes he goes out of point. Sometimes. No, I'm not saying he's not doing good things of yeah. course he speaks intelligently he's been helping blah 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 but blah 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> i don't know he's been he's helped people with things you not know, a fake product thing i mean yes. that's how he started yeah. calling out fake brands and everything but like mm, and sometimes i feel like he mm, mm. You why, know, why is it that women are always threatened by men who speak truth mm. to power no, no, like and Andrew Tate. Tell me if I could, if I could come. <laughs> yes, um, a very dark man. There's this guy on Twitter, Shola. I don't know if you know him. Yeah, I know him too. Wish, it's, but really, like that. It's, it's not even the hate itself. I think they just come for women in the most brutal way. I think uh, if you go, yeah. yeah, if you come in the most subtle way and speak to but their women, <laughs> women, but I, I just to low, <laughs> sub to low, what, brutal. What was that? What's that? Please, please, please. But really, please. very dark man is still behind bars, and we just hope is. No, right, I actually thought that was a protected. joke at first. Yeah, like, Izuaya has come out to say this. It's still bad. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I hope. Like, we, we wait That's to... very fair, man, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you on Instagram. And like, it looks so yeah, big yeah, as well. Yeah, you know, like, you know, Nigerians are increased and everything. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that conversation is on end. We, we are waiting to see what's going to happen with yeah. him. But let's go to the conversation of today, Office Romance. We're asking you at home and our wonderful guest today, Office Romance, is this something you've done? What exactly is ro Office Romance, Seth? Office Romance. Is it just... Eyeing somebody at work, yeah. or you are in deep it's, relationship, it's from eyeing or you deep to deep stuff. You know, it depends on where you want it to lead. Okay, yeah. deep yeah. stuff. But I it, mean, it, like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what you're thinking. I'm talking about deep, deep, deep. romance. Okay, like, okay, you understand? Okay, okay. I don't, I don't let, me be, let me be clear. I, I, it seems like you're missing. You know, they always say ladies first, but let me come to him. <laughs> what is office romance office to romance you? Is when, yeah. you know, a boy and a girl yeah. are, you know, a oh, boy and okay, boy and girl. A man and a woman. <laughs> a man and a woman, of course, yes. A man and a woman, yes. Yeah. They are in love in mm -hmm. office setting, yes. I think mm -hmm. that's, that's basically what it means. What it means, like mm -hmm. just normal love, yes, yeah. their relationship. You know, they are doing. I know some things. some actually goes far. Yeah. They, they lead to marriage. Yeah, yeah some well, stops, ex exactly. Stops at the office. I yeah. think the ones that stop at the office become very toxic because. Mm. Yeah, and things. people in the office begin to take sides about who is wrong or who is right. And you know, that's the thing with office office romance. You, it, you know, it, at first it starts like it's a sick. It goes from winking to mm. to uh, holding hands when people don't buy know. Buy half food. Buy half food mm -hmm. to me, uh, you know she's now your babe. Now mm. you just start acting all uh, possessive, mm. and then people get to know. I know that office people normally now they want to be quiet like they don't know, but they know what is which till they break up. <laughs> <laughs> And the conversation is going to happen. That's why you know that people knew all along. Yeah, yeah, that's why you know that people are just silent about it. Like, it's we like so well, it's not very similar to that. We just love jeans. Yeah. But coming to you, uh, Timmy, is, is, okay. is, is this something you've done before? I understand you've worked in this, although you people there <laughs> are not in this structured uh, setting like us. But mm. of course, you've had the time you work in this yes. official setting. Yes, is this something that you've witnessed or something that's Okay. Has it happened to you or you? It's never happened. I've never been in love in an office setting, unfortunately. Okay. I've never even been in love that long. So, oh. my life is <laughs> <laughs> That's so many breakfasts. I do not believe that, but okay, from a Yoruba demon. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, moving on. But um, in general, I've I've seen it happen mm. once. 
although they never actually made it official, but me, I know that mm. something was going something on. Was they always going going to on. get food together, always working together, always doing some secret, secret movement. Because our office where I served like yeah. during my NYC was very large, so there are some offices that were always empty. And I never see them taking strolls to that side all the time. I'm like, yeah. okay, what are you guys going to do there? What is in the office? Why are you going to go there? But it was, we never asked any questions yeah. publicly, but we knew that something was going on. And it was nice. It was good to see. I don't know what it led to now because, yeah. you know, I've lost, I've lost, touch, lost, touch, 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 lost touch with them. Yeah. But I'm sure it went, it went, it went far because we yeah. were really into each other. Yeah. I think love can just happen anywhere for different people. Yeah. Some people find love on the train station. Some people, perhaps some people, when no, they are. <laughs> <on> <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so just, oh, you just bump into somebody and they just oh, oh my papers. Oh, oh let, me, let me help you with the book. And then I'm really, uh, 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 yeah. So people love. would um, believe that this is just a fling. Even me, to some extent, I feel office romance is just a fling. You just meet with somebody. It could be in, in some extent that it's, it's not something that would lead into serious relationship. But I've also had some people say that these are one of the most strong relationships that you can have. To be with somebody that you see them walk, see them yeah, do the thing day. that they do every day and you be with them every day. Looking at how they are together in the same work environment, is this something that you think is more than a fling? Or would it be more than a fling for you? Uh, coming from me, okay, I've had... Personal experience. Had, <laughs> I've had <laughs> personal experience, of course. I just know. I just know. Okay, like I've had... It wasn't like really office. It was like building kind okay. of, you know. What we, kind of building? <laughs> no, like, like office the office space like okay. he walked next door okay and so i could just walk in yeah. and, you know but like still like it's it was weird yeah. kind of because you know now when we started having normal relationships uh issues why is your voice going i'm reminiscing i'm reminiscing the times where were yeah. harsh yeah. so you know people kept you know what's wrong you got i, I didn't see you with him today i didn't see you but like i'm not Feeling, imagine mm. if it was in the same office. Imagine mm. the pressure mm. I would have been getting from that. Like, mm. it's crazy. I just told myself, office? No, no, no way. I could admire. Oh my God, he's handsome. Mm. He's cute. I feel like we could get somewhere, but no. <laughs> no, please. The pressure. The pressure is too much. Hmm. An office relationship, like, your relationship is everybody's business. Mm, it's everybody's Fuck. business. Fuck. Yeah. It is. The, but is it even possible to keep it quiet? So is it possible quiet? to I keep think, it low key? I and think not in the first few weeks, mm. yeah, you could keep it quiet. Well, you guys, no it will leak. Yeah, it but will, yeah. but definitely it's going to get exposed. And if you, if you're working with people who are matured, who don't want to mm. talk about it, then you're actually in a good position. Whether you want to work with people mm. who like talk, talk and then talk. they're like, oh, really? You guys? I saw you, I saw you guys there. I saw you guys. Yeah. Okay, what's happening now? You guys are not talking. What's <laughs> the no kind of thing? You know that like, you'll be feeling a mm. lot of. Pressure, pressure yeah. going on and that kind of thing. Let's say you guys then break up, mm. you're going to have a lot of issues at work because everybody's going to be like, ah, exactly. you guys are not together today. What's happening? <laughs> oh, you guys are not What's happening? Ah, ah. Exactly. Not that kind of thing. Uh, exactly. Also, you're going through a lot. So, Abba, that I is think stressful. what you just said is true because everybody's going to have a or, say, or an, opinion yeah. an opinion about your relationship. People who don't even know what happened. But because yeah. they've seen you guys work together and exactly. in the same setting, they feel they have a right to mm. something. Well, someone can tell you, I feel like this is your fault. Oh. Go on. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> apologize. You guys, I love your relationship. Go. Mend this back. Uh, exactly. <laughs> that kind of thing. So, yeah. like, it's, it's too much pressure. Yeah, so uh, there's this story of a of a lady that is dating somebody that is superior to her uh, in her office and whenever they want to go home the guy is always be the one taking them drop everybody at their own bus stop mm -hmm. so she's always sitting at the back seat not mine not pretending, any, but <laughs> pretending. <laughs> so you got to report like i would just want to sit down with you on the front seat yeah. other ladies are coming to come and sit with you Doesn't and then they sense. are giving you their face of course perhaps they don't know their relationship perhaps they know they just want to pepper them that yeah. i need to sit at the front so you don't go to what i just push everybody away i need to sit at this seat <laughs> But really, it's just something about how far, for how long can you keep it private? I think that's a conversation. But another thing is also to talk about this, perhaps you're in a lower position, it, the person is a higher rank, and then people feel like you're getting unmerited favor because this person is in a relationship with you, is giving you all the gigs that come to the company, is allowing you to go out on projects and all of that. While you can be very excellent at what you do, but the eye that people would still use yeah. to look at you would be completely different. That's yeah. true. That's why some companies put it in their, in their policy for that. Yeah. For, for there not to be any relationship in the company because mm. for things like this, exactly. sometimes... Even if if person is deserving or not, you mm. can't really tell because mm. persons keep getting all the favors. Mm. That's why I think like it's 
it's a very tricky subject to be honest. It's mm -hmm. very tricky because imagine like when I'm dating this beautiful lady. We can make it happen. <laughs> I'm single, by the way. <laughs> Moving on. I was in the same office, right? Yeah. yeah. There is no how, whether I like it or not, whether I'm mm. doing it intentionally or not, there will be some sort of favoritism going her way. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's almost it's, uncontrollable. It's uncontrollable. It's something you cannot avoid. That's why I feel like it's very tricky. When it, when it comes to like superior subordinates, it's a mm. very tricky matter. If maybe like, you're on the same level, I feel it's mm. more balanced. There mm. can't be really any, you know, any unmerited favor in that aspect. But... When it's a superior and a subordinate, it's, mm. it's really tricky. To what if it's the woman that is superior? Same. Mm. I feel like it's still the same thing. Yeah, still it's the same. Same. But would you feel a, a certain woman, way? A woman would do it more. Mm. Probably. Because, you know, women tend to be more emotional. Yeah. Wow. 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 Okay. Well, it's in a very okay. good way. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yes. Nice. I would deny that, yeah, women, we're yeah. emotional and yeah. all. But I feel like um, if I ever... You know, I said I've cancelled mm, office yeah. relationships. <laughs> but, never <say> never. <laughs> but you know, you don't know where you can find love. No. You know, love comes to any mm. dimension. Yeah. But I feel like if I wanted to actually be in an office relationship, I wouldn't want it to be with someone who I'm on the same level with. Mm. I want it to be someone who is higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> Women, oh, no, no, it's not about women, but like I feel like it'd be better, like you know, in my boss, mm. and yeah, like I mean, you love you me, get right? pampered, that kind of that kind yeah. of situation. I get I get pampered, right, mm. right? And it's like you're helping me build mm. myself because yeah, I'm lower than you. I'm learning from you on a normal day. So yeah, me dating you in a higher position means I'm learning more, and you're bringing me up. Like that yeah. kind of situation mm. would yeah. bring a lot of yeah. office gossip. It's think? real, and and we talk but about. That, that's why you have to make it secret. And if it exposes, For how long can you make it let secret? all of them go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> But even talking about people's opinion, people also police yeah. your move, mo your moves all around. Mm -hmm. For example, you're dating somebody in the office, and the person is talking to somebody else. People are like, ah, have you seen your babe? Your babe don't yeah. talk to somebody else. People always have constant things, constant it's opinion like to drop into your relationship. The, you even for people, perhaps you're dating, you. you're dating someone that is always very nosy. So whenever you're talking to somebody, somebody's like, giving you a file, you're okay. just yeah. normal hug in the office, it, it becomes something else. I feel like I'm hugging you, what's wrong? You said, if you're dating one in the office, why would you hug another person for office? <laughs> oh, why, so why you should become you normal again. Okay, so, so, because I'm dating somebody, no, I, I should, I should you not shake hug. You shake everybody. You shake everybody? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll stretch Never your Never give that hug again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hug again. I'm dating you and you're hugging somebody in my office. Wait. God help you, I'm not your superior. You can correct that letter immediately. Both of you. <laughs> but what, what, if, what if the person is my friend mm. and you know I just see him and I'm so happy? Oh hey, somebody and now then you I shake hug. him now. Mm. Shaking is nice. Uh, okay, okay, so he's very friendly. So in your friendly relationships shake. now, your yeah. your girlfriends don't hug all they do. Not is in the shake. office. Oh, no, outside. We're talking about office. They can hug other male friends. <laughs> outside. Outside. If, if, if I not see them now, but I'm mm. you're in oh. office, I'm seeing you. <laughs> There's problem now. <laughs> It really is really <laughs> funny. <laughs> but yeah. I, I just feel that in some ways you just have to uh, let love lead. You know, but we think it's God this conversation. So yeah, let love. Let lo love lead. <laughs> yeah. uh, because we've seen some situations where people in the same office or working together have led to a uh, good marriage. For instance, let's talk about Michelle and Barack Obama. They used to work together in the state established. They were both lawyers, mm -hmm. and she was a superior. I think it was an intern or something in the organization, and she was in some in, in some manner a supervisor, a supervisor at mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. So, if we could have something as small as that at that time to materialize into something become so celebrated big. all yeah. around the world, Michelle and Barack Obama are world icons that people look up to yeah. so if we can have that happen over the years how do you think it's i think it's something that we should give a chance to but not minding there's some organizations that have different policies at, at, at play that would restrict people from not allowing them there is i know uh, well i don't know of a woman but i know of a story of a woman and a man who were together at work and the company policies against two people being in a, in a relationship not even you can date of course secretly <coughs> nobody's going to police you they have no evidence against yeah. you but you're getting married so the relationship has graduated to the extent that they needed to get married and one person had to leave and the woman insisted that she's not going to leave oh, wow. and the man felt like he's going to be the head of the family to represent to provide and everything why should you leave so if you were in that situation would you leave 
I think this depends on. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 I'll be what? 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 I'll be to help you out. Like, yeah. like you I'm, in, I'm interested in <laughs> really? it. <laughs> so I, I feel like it depends on the pay. Mm. Really? Wait, let, let's just wait. Just calm down. Like, <laughs> okay, fine. We're working in the same office, mm. right? Let's say um, the man ends higher than the woman. Mm. Like, I'm not saying the woman has to leave, but like, I'm saying like if you end higher and. Um, yeah, the person, the person entire, whoever ends stay, higher has to stay. stay. Okay. Because, like, I mean, this country is messed up. <laughs> like, you need so funds. So, if you were a woman and you're earning higher, you would stay? Is that I, what you're I'd saying? I'd stay. Yeah. No, no, they're just going to stay. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait. Like, I think um, we have to have a mutual understanding. You have yeah, to talk yeah, to your yeah. husband about this. Okay, babe, this is this. This is what I'm earning. What you're earning can't sustain us. Uh. What I'm earning is better. So mm. at least if we, if I stay, we're earning these high amounts while you look for mm. something else. And I'm sure any reasonable company will just tell you, okay, you're getting married, so of you out. Mm. There will be a time frame mm. for, for the that. two of you to work together in the company before they say, okay, this person, Has you have to, to go mm. or something. So yeah, within that time frame, you can be looking for something else while I'm working i'm not saying i'm taking the head of the house because i know men now it's always like when a yeah. woman wants to when a woman earns more or is now she's working or the man, yeah. it's not like oh she's feeling like the head of the household and the head and the head and the head but you're the next <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but like i feel whoever earns higher has to be has, there has to. timmy if you look at it that's from the women's perspective they are, <laughs> they are, they are attacking us right now really? but as a man in a relationship you're in charge of you're the head of the family you're in charge of taking care of the bills at home you're in charge of taking care of your own family mm -hmm. external needs that you have you're in charge of taking care of your wife's external needs that you have perhaps she has some dependence in in some family not having to take all those responsibility to give it to your wife and she can just come mm -hmm. why have you not cooked this morning <laughs> <laughs> I've been okay, on work this morning okay. and you're back home. Let, okay. him, let him respond to that situation. That's crazy. <laughs> let and him respond to that. That, that, that. That's what I would put to a woman in that situation. That's okay. what I would put to her. Listen to all these expenses, the mm. immediate bills at mm. home, the kids, your bill, mm. my bill, mm. and then our external dependence, right? Mm. Would you be able to put, put all of that? All because of that. as a man, at the age of maybe like 18, 19, 20, 21, you're, you're getting used to the fact that you have to provide for other people. Exactly. Men aren't used to that fact. Um... Mm. Or most women, uh, rather. Uh, most women, rather. Let me stop you there. <laughs> let me no. 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 Okay, let me allow you land. Let me allow you land because they're attacking women. my yeah. gender. But okay, sorry, I'm calm. Sorry. I'm okay. calm. Well, I'm most calm. women mm. are not brought up that way. Mm. Or they're not used to it, rather. Yeah. Some are, some are, but most aren't. Right? So if she's going to be, if she can adapt to that easily or fast, then fine. If she's willing to do all of that, maybe one cousin from Ibadan, just call that more. I need like 20k mm. today, or you don't yeah. even know him from Adam. If you need to send the money to that kind of person and handle those kind of situations, then fine, mm. she can stay. But I feel like in most cases, right, even if the man is any less, I feel like because generally, just for the, and this is going to be a very sensitive word, <laughs> but just for the <laughs> picture mm. of being in charge yeah. and handling things, right? Yeah. Because generally, even with a little, a man can know how to handle things. Yeah. Sometimes, very sorry, but sometimes, even with a lot, a woman can feel overwhelmed. Mm. You get. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. but it's not, I'm not trying, but it's the yeah. truth. I'm right? letting you yeah. land, I'm letting you <laughs> land. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt him. So that's why I just feel like, generally speaking, right, mm. in that kind of situation, a man just has to, be, the man just has to be the one mm. to just stay. I think you can be trained down. as the head of, to, to be the head of the family mm. for all these years, mm. and you have someone have to then not even lord you around. That even situation where you have that the money's not coming out of your purse you can't spend it how you want to spend it it's you cannot very, i think it's for men for women there, there's there's this constant <laughs> desire to protect yes. there's this constant desire to want to give to 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 their spouse to want to treat you to want to pamper you it's not even coming from a place of misogyny that i want to put you down it's coming from a place of this is my babe yes. i need to make her happy i need to take her oh, out i need to go what makes you think what 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 you think women don't say oh babe i want to take you out guy i have done that how many times all my years with all my years of they have never taken me out okay i'm sorry if they take you out you mess the wrong people but there are a lot of ladies out there yeah, I'm yeah. single. Okay, we'll but, I, 
Come but there, there, are lot, there are a lot of ladies out there who spoil their mm. men. Mm. Like, babe, get dressed. I want, I want us to go have yeah. dinner or get dressed. We're going somewhere nice. Or if it's your birthday, babe, get How dressed with a birthday cake yeah. and everything. See, I'm, te I'm telling you, there are a lot of babes it out there. It gets to a time. Oh, yeah, perhaps we need to understand ourselves better. <laughs> <laughs> it gets to a time when you do this How first awful. second time. You'll be like, oh, God. <laughs> show, show, show something now. Show no, us, no, no. Show honestly, honestly, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to yeah. be like, 50 -50. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm taking you out. You should take mm. me out, too. Mm. It's not like I'm spending. Am I, am I the mm. one that's going to pay the buy price? <laughs> last, last, like, you have to do something. Mm. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying you're not going to um, um, provide Find, or yeah. spend. But yeah, I mean, I could take you out today, you take me mm. out tomorrow, like, vice versa. I'm yeah. not saying, uh, yeah, because I want to start taking you out now, oh, as a woman, blah, 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 I want mm. to show that, yeah, women do this too, then I have mm. to do it throughout the relationship. Mm. Yeah, of course. A another point I want us to, I mean, that's fantastic. Yeah. Another point I want us to talk about before, uh, because we're running out of time, is to, when somebody pulls back from that kind of job, perhaps it's a very juicy job, you get different commission, you get different uh, leave opportunities, you get traveled for projects abroad and all of that and then you pull back you stay back home or you you try to find another job and then you see other person excelling in their own job that they are pursuing or a career that they are pursuing and you see them excelling they see them doing a lot of things what if this is your own career as a woman this is something that you love to do this is a career you want to pursue this is your a game in life and then you have to pull back because of this office kind of complicated yeah. restrictions that you get mm. would resentment not build because even before we started the show we're talking about resentment building of we talked about the story of michelle obama mm. how when she decided having children she was back at home and barack obama was doing a lot of things he became a senator he was doing a lot of things and she was like this isn't fair mm. i'm back at home you're doing a lot of things for yourself i think all this thing also has to do with understanding mm. i know there's there's going to there's definitely we are humans mm, mm. there's definitely going to be a point where you reach your breaking point i'm leaving this like, job for you i can't like because i was doing better Sir. and then i had to leave because of you i mean there's you're definitely going to mm. burst out but like i feel like it's understanding and i know like with time i mean god mm. no go shame you like <laughs> and like with time like, like definitely, and god. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then with time, definitely, yeah, the person nah, is going to get... And, and yeah. I feel like it, it also has to do with your hard work. Mm. Because you can't be at home saying, oh, no, mm. blah, 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 he's yeah. doing, he's excelling, I was yeah. better here, yeah. and now he's doing this, and I have nothing. And then yeah. he sits home and sulk and yeah. cry and expect something to come your way. I think it's just there, taking up responsibilities. Yeah. Even as a man in the relationship, how can you make it work for her while she's sitting? there? But it's very important. Because, and, and also we have comments from different people um mm. in nigeria so this comment says office romance is actually not bad but it shouldn't affect your productivity in your place of work so keep work work and keep, keep. home home yeah, no, this, as that's home. Not, that's not problem. <laughs> some people don't know how to keep home yeah. um, maybe you have yeah. exactly maybe you, you, you maybe your, life your husband separate. is your superior your wife is your superior and you've had quarrel at home and then you call you, you say, okay please uh um, timmy can you bring the file to my office i said don't talk to me like <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. Yeah, because yeah, so, <laughs> some people can't separate, separate that. that. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely going to show. Yeah, and, and another person said, office romance, it hardly ends well. Let everybody do their work and go home, please. I think I agree, <laughs> to, to be honest. Yeah. Because it, there's no how it will filter into mm -hmm. your work. It's very, very mm. difficult for people to, to separate it mm. because that emotion of, you know, that this person, mm. this person is annoying you, maybe mm. they're having a fight or argument. Mm. Like you said, print that thing for me. No, don't talk to me. I'm not <laughs> it for by yourself. That kind of thing can happen. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Or if it's someone who, like, like me, that doesn't send, yeah. uh, I could just ignore it. <laughs> you know, like, I think you're a very special kind of lady. <laughs> She's yeah, a special like, breed. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think he's shooting his shot right now. <laughs> Well, uh, lastly, it says, uh, this person said, office romance can be cute to the secrecy and all that can be fun. And all of that can be fun. But when it's exposed, hmm, just be ready to deal with any consequences and or gossips. Honestly, but I feel like off office romance is cute. It's cute. The, the handhelds. Oh, baby, especially if they're serious. Yeah. Oh, we're, hey. oh, we're going out for lunch. We're going out for lunch. Okay, okay. Meet me in the car. Then you, yes. then you walk downstairs. Yes. The, car, the car will be waiting for you outside two, <laughs> two blocks away. <laughs> Some people don't know. You've done, like, you've done it in before. <laughs> I, I, said, I, said <laughs> I, have, I said I have. So like, well, I feel like uh, it's, it's a very uh, nice and wonderful mm. feeling. Just mm. that sometimes uh, it, could get, it could uh, get really messy. Uh, uh, yeah. Exactly. But, yeah, but I think it's, it's something that I want. Uh, 
like <laughs> let me keep quiet let me keep quiet but just to get your final thoughts on this uh, timmy is mm -hmm. this something you said you haven't done before mm. is it something you would want to do it's something i would want to do no Mm. But it's something, I think it's something that can just happen. Of course, it's something that it could happen. happen to you, you without could, even knowing. You could fall in love with I don't think cleaner, you can, you can cleaning, decide who you fall people. in love with. You can't. Mm. Just like you can fall in love with somebody cleaning your house. Mm. It can happen. But I just feel like um, Robert Greene said something. He said, keep work for work, keep friends yeah. for friends. I was even yeah. talking about friends. And mm. by extension, you could say yeah. girlfriend. I feel like you need to separate two because the two, yeah. more often than not, yeah. Can't work mm. together. What if yeah. he finds you uh, in that position <laughs> where you can't, <laughs> where you can't, <laughs> where you can't I, I think he has, I I think he has done more than enough to, <laughs> to, to well, justify his point. But Oye, yeah, mm? let, let's go back to Oye. Will yeah. you, at, as at now? She already said yes now. She won't <laughs> I haven't even finished the question, but would you do it? Yeah. If it's, if it's, yeah, yeah, of course. It's something mm. I, I do if I fall in love with somebody in the mm. office, sure. I mean, but he has to be in a superior position than me. He has to be. He <laughs> <laughs> has to be in a, it in has a superior position. Yeah, he has to be. Mm. As if, you know, you know, it's nice. I think this too, I think we need higher, to find a special. In a higher position <laughs> than you are. For favors, for gains, <laughs> for, you know. For favors. Yeah. So you don't want to work. You don't want to work. <laughs> no, 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 no. Excuse me. You know, Who's going to I'm, ask me if I'm going to do? I don't know. You just said I thought going to do that. No, no, no. You just said I thought he was going to do that. <laughs> Like yeah, now if you're if you're dating someone mm. um, in the office who is a superior than you, mm. of course you're getting favors. It's not just because mm. the person is your girlfriend mm. or your boyfriend. It's because well, how okay, are you able to tell the distinction? I of course, if I know I, I marry something, and you're can like, I, can, oh, I, can I settle this? I give this? you a trip to Dubai. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, thank you, sir. Can thank I settle this sir. call and draw the curtain right now? I think Timmy is going to do it if the law propels him to do so. Yes. I think he will do it with a condition. It has to be, <laughs> it has to be somebody superior. superior, and that's where we draw the curtain today. You, you talk about yourself. <laughs> Well, I think I'll, I'll let love lead <laughs> in such situation, but I think it's, it's a conversation we want you to join. Would you want to be in a situation where you have someone you're in love with in your same space, in, in your workspace, and what do you think the consequences are for you? Have you had an experience with that before? Did it end well? Are you married now? <laughs> Did it end with a breakup? This is <laughs> these are all the things we it's want to know, and fast. we want you to share with us on all our social media platforms. Uh. Shh, these don't people. <laughs> we want you to share that with us on all our social media platforms showing on the screen right now. This is the Bro Code. You can join us same station, same time next week. I want to thank my people for coming on this show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having very, me. I'm, I'm happy very, to be very here. Very engaging actually. conversation. Yeah. yeah. Really well, I would love to do this again. Definitely. <laughs> sure, definitely. And definitely. that's why we draw the curtain today. Thank you so much. My name is Adewale Olashukwan. This is Bro Code. Join us same time, same station next week.